We're back, Meredith Morakovic and Sarah Kustak in New York City. Sarah, it's been about 24 hours. What's changed in your world since then? Not a whole lot, not a whole lot. Um, I'm loading up what I will say has changed. I, NBA TV, and maybe they've been doing this for a while, they just haven't had my TV on. They're playing a lot of old classics. Uh, I got to watch game two of the Nets, San Antonio NBA Finals from 2003. Um, I was watching today the, the Celtics and uh, the Lakers and back in the day in 84. So, yeah, I feel like rejuvenated. I feel like Good. I got a little into my blood. Even though it's games of years past, it feels a little more regular. It still feels like there's something happening out there, even though you know the outcomes and you know the endings. Um, on my end, I switched from hot coffee to iced coffee. So that's a pretty exciting revelation over here in uh, Clearwater. Uh, but, you know, I was... I was kind of thinking we travel so much for our jobs. Do you miss that aspect of it? Or where was your favorite place to travel work-wise? Oh, this is a great question. And I actually, I don't know if you feel the same way. I think a lot of people will ask, oh, what's your favorite city to go to when you, you all go on the road and travel on the road and have um, games in different areas? And I realize I start saying a list and then I name another and I've gotten like 25 different cities. So I can't pick my favorites. Um, some of the top ones that come to mind, though, Chicago is where I was born and raised and still have a ton of family and friends. And it is um, near and dear to my heart and will always be home. So I naturally, and I think just having worked there so long when I was a kid and in high school, we played games at the United Center. When I was in college at Paul, we played games at the United Center. Of course, working there, covering the Bulls and Blackhawks. So that, that to me, is always um, a favorite stop in such a special place. I think by nature, we get a little skewed, especially given NBA is in the winter, some of those warm weather places. Oh, yeah. I get a little excited when I see, you know, Miami on, on the trip. Um, I love all the Teds. I'm a big fan of Texas, so going to Dallas, to Houston, to San Antonio, um la is up there don't make me actually rank these top five or ten because this is what i talk about but then like portland has such a cool vibe i get excited about going to denver i have family there um you know so those are the, some of the top spots even like washington um you know dc I, I love to go around and and just you know when we have some of those downtime areas uh we stay around the georgetown area georgetown area so just getting a chance to like get out and um, yeah, so those those are the ones that come to mind. Although there's no cities that I dislike. I think we have our routines in certain places, mm -hmm. good spots we like to go run or get out to or restaurants or whatever it may be. Um, but those those are the ones that that jump off the page to me. That's kind of I do it like that, and also when I have friends in cities, it obviously makes me kind of like the cities a little bit more because there's somebody that lives there that can show you some spots maybe you wouldn't have found on your own so baseball wise I would say Seattle I enjoy going to Seattle and we once had an off day there but it generally doesn't work out but we had an off day and I was able to do the Rattlesnake Ridge hike which was amazing you would love it although I don't know what the oh well no there's basketball in Seattle so no you wouldn't be there Which yeah. Sonics being not that it's not great there in Oklahoma City, uh, but yeah, Seattle, my goodness. Yeah, that's a good one. And obviously, WNBA is still there, right? Yeah. Yes. Sue Bird and Bram Stewart are running the show. Yes, because I saw them a couple of years ago. They had the All Star game there. Anyway, Seattle's fun. Philly, I spent a lot of years in Philly. So it's not a favorite of maybe a lot of people's, but. I still have a soft spot in my heart. So, you know, where else, where else? And even, even though it's summer, the warm city places, the years we play Miami, into that, I'm a Miami person, uh, LA, love LA. I have to be honest, I, I, I'm really into speaking of traveling and this doesn't really happen in a lot of the places we go, but when I go somewhere internationally, big into cliff jumping, I don't mind heights, I like heights. Uh, I've done swing, swinging things. I've not done, I've not sky dove. Is that how you would call it? Sky going skydiving. Uh, <laughs> however, I, I would do that. Bungee jumping for some reason has always just the snapping. I imagine breaking my neck or 
things like that. But so something like that, I'd be totally into. Bungee jumping scares me as well, especially they hook your ankles and I've had a million ankle surgeries. So I'm like, my, my ankles just, I'm going to lose it and then I'm going to fall through the bungee and then you're just going to see my little leg bobbing up there. Yeah, no, no, no. I would not suggest that for you. But yeah, but otherwise, but I think you would do that, right? I feel like we're both pretty adventurous in that area. I think I would do that. I'd be freaking out because I don't really love heights. So oh. I would still do it but I don't think it would be the most pleasant experience while it's going on. But after I did it, I would be happy that I did it for some I'm, weird reason. I'm into heights. So when you're hot, like mountains or even tall buildings looking over. Um, yeah. I, always... I, don't, I don't love it. I like the views up there, but in my head, I'm like, whoa, if something goes down, I don't know how I'm getting down a hundred flights of stairs quickly. So even, even, logical way see you're thinking two steps ahead and then camelback i'm sure you've done that hike in arizona i love phoenix that's another great spot um yeah camelback i always love i have to say hiking um this is this is probably a big revelation to my friends as well who always i have one of my best friends and former teammates lives in alaska um she's about an hour outside of Anchorage. so when i go to visit her we do a ton of hiking obviously I'm, I'm good with hiking for about 45 minutes. After that, I lose my attention span and then the walk down, I'm not, so I enjoy hiking, but I think I play it off to some of my friends that are really into hiking and always want to go hiking that I'm a little more into it than I am. <laughs> I enjoy it, but the going down, most people don't like going up because it tends to be a little bit more of a workout. It's the going down. It takes me twice as long to go down because I'm paranoid that again, I'm going to break my ankle. <laughs> oh, see, I just, I'm just over it. By that point, I'm like, we somehow just go, go gadget our way down. Like we've done the yeah. hard. I just want to be over. There's like a little old lady with a walker that's, that's lapping me going down. <laughs> so you mentioned some of the international travel, non-work related travel. Do you have a favorite spot to go to or a favorite spot you've been? Um, I'm gonna, I, so I love the islands. Um, they're a quick trip from New York. Uh, I, I, uh, love going to Mexico. I was at Cabo the other summer, loved it, but play, like Antigua, I was just in Jamaica, Turks and Cape, all of that. Um, I love, love and go in a heartbeat. And, um, I would always try and sell people on that if they were talking about trips. But one I will bring up is Croatia which I went this past summer, and I know it's not a spot that a ton of people, when you think about different European countries that people visit a lot, um, and uh, it was beautiful. I've heard such good things about it. It's on my list. I haven't been there yet, but it's certainly a place I would like to go. About you. What's that? About you, what are your favorite, what are your favorite spots that you've been, that you wanna go to? I'm you obsessed. I'm obsessed with Italy. I've been there, I think, four times in the last two years. I, I love the whole country. I really do. I, um, I love following you on Instagram for a multitude of reasons, but especially when we're in the thick of the NBA season, um, seeing where you're jetting off to and <laughs> riding and then hearing from you that it just, you just decided like the day before. I think that's an amazing way to live life, and I love it. Seize the day, right? Well, we still hope everybody is being safe out there, following the guidelines. I am going to seize an at-home workout right now. What do you have on tap for today? Uh, well, <laughs> no. You know what? Speaking of this, uh, living on a whim, I'm living on a whim. Uh, probably the same thing I've been doing, reading some books. I already got all my workout in, um, so did that early, woke up early. So yeah, some more books maybe some more FaceTime, talking with some friends, watching some more games. Uh, yeah, just hanging out a little bit. For as much as we're talking about people in traveling and getting out and doing things, um, also, I know we said it yesterday, but to everyone, make sure you be selfless. If you can stay in, stay inside, be smart. Um, and more thank yous and more gratitude to all people, doctors, nurses, medical staff, everyone um, doing what they can to keep us safe. So, yes. Yeah travel memories and dreams in our heads. Uh, that'll have to wait for another time. Be safe. 100%. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.